In this video, we will show you a working solution of Lab 13 and its interaction with the Texas Display software. The two things to remember are to make sure that PD3 is connected to the DAC output which we will measure and call Texas init subroutine using the scope on parameter as our last value. To initialize the Texas display, we're first going to open the serial port connection. And you remember data streams from the microcontroller into the Texas display through the UART. And we're going to click the display or the scope parameter. And so now we can see that the voltage is measured or plotted versus time. So we'll interact with our solution. So remember that this solution requires you to implement four keys. And the first key I'm going to try is the G key. And I press the key. And Texas Display gives me a frequency of 784 hertz approximately. So I'm going to release this key test another key which is the E key. I press it. I look at the frequency. It's approximately 660 hertz. And I can try another key which is a D key. And I look at it around 588 hertz. And the last key is my C key which is a 521 hertz approximately. So in summary, an oscilloscope measures voltage versus time. And we use this to make sure that the output of the DAC has both the correct shape and the correct frequency. So John, what happens if I were to connect the audio jack to my headphones? Let's try and see. So I've connected it. And I'm going to press one of the keys. I have a G key pressed right now. So it does show me a signal. Obviously, it's scaled down because now there's a load, but it is the right shape and it is a right frequency. All right, now you try it. 